patients received napaclitaxel uh, on a weekly basis, three weeks on, one week off, and atezolizumab every two weeks, uh, and could continue with the combination as long as they derive benefit from it. Uh, patients uh, who had toxicities from napaclitaxel and had to stop napaclitaxel could continue to receive atezolizumab until disease progression on, until uh, toxicities. Uh, 24 patients, they were evaluable for these, uh, for their response assessment. Uh, and uh, the response uh, rate, the confirmed response rate uh, in triple negative breast cancer was 41.7%. Uh, however, the investigators noted that patient who had received one uh, line of treatment, well, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, received napaclitaxel and atezolizumab as a first line treatment for the metastatic triple negative breast cancer, they had higher response rate of 66.7%. Uh, Again, this is based on only nine patients and a small cohort of patients, of course. Uh, from the safety point of view, which was the primary endpoint of this trial, there was significant uh, hematological toxicities, including 40.1% uh, of patients developed uh, grade 3 neutropenia, 9% uh, developed grade 3 thrombocytopenia, and 6% developed grade 3 anemia.